He's a piano-playing high-tech millionaire who decided to take on racist soccer fans by buying the team. Beitar Jerusalem is one of Israel's top clubs, the only one never to sign an Arab Muslim player and one with a history of racism from a vocal segment of its fan base. I'm here to build a, a strong club, an advanced club, a competitive club that is winning titles with a, 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 a happy football, but at the same time to take this bad thing and take racism and cut it out of Beitar Jerusalem. Moshe Hogeg has his work cut out for him. Beitar Jerusalem has been infamous for a small group of hardcore supporters called La Familia, best known for their chance of death to Arabs. The racist, and that's a big problem. And this small group affected the name of the hundreds of thousands of amazing Beitar fans that are not racist at all. The fan record has improved. Two racist chants recorded in 2018, down from 17 the season prior. That's according to the NGO, the New Israel Fund. But it's a new season and with it a new challenge, the signing of a player named Ali Muhammad. Soon, La Familia's chants against their own player came. <laughs> Muhammad is dead, is what they're saying. Ali is dead. Now here's the thing, not that it should matter of course, but Ali Muhammad is neither Arab nor is he Muslim. He's from Niger and he says he's a devout Christian. But because his name sounds Muslim, that's enough for some fans to want to change his name just so they don't have to say Muhammad. <laughs> The racist element is a minority, and at the club's first pre-season practice, the Muhammad is dead and Ali is dead chants were drowned out by other fans. And Moshe Hogeg says he's suing fans who cross the line. I don't go to the police. I just send a fi I file a lawsuit of uh, uh, anywhere between a million shekels, that is equivalent to like, uh, let's say, three hundred thousand uh, dollars, and up to half a million dollars. Uh, uh, on damaging, trying or damaging the, the reputation of the club. Hogeg says his lawyers have sent warning letters to three fans demanding an apology. The Beitar owner says if they don't come, he will file the lawsuits. <laughs> Ali Mohammed won't talk about fan racism. He wants his football to do the talking. And this happened when we tried to get La Familia members to talk on camera. <laughs> At this practice, La Familia members were present, but overwhelmed by other fans making it clear Ali Muhammad is welcome at Beitar Jerusalem. Ali, Ali what do you think of the fans? Amazing. amazing. You can see for yourself, it's amazing. Ali, like, I didn't expect this. Ali, Ali, Ali. Ali, Ali. Moshe Hogeg admits it's been a tough fight and it's not yet won. He even contemplated selling the club, but he hasn't. Instead, he waits for one moment that will make his fight worthwhile. When Muhammad will score a goal, you will hear the whole stadium cheering for him. I think it will be an historic moment for this club and an important one. Michael Holmes, CNN, Jerusalem.